already put WD-40 on these. So this should bust loose. Probably not that easy. Alright, we're going to see what these look like. They haven't been opened since 1993. Also, they haven't been opened since Hurricane Harvey. Which this RV set through Hurricane Harvey. I'm about to see how much stuff comes out. You can see the old gasket seal going. Might just rub all that off and put some new stuff on there. Got gloves on this time because the grease and stuff was too much. I was getting it everywhere. I already did the other side. The other side was a bunch of mud. Looks like I should have done this a long time ago. I traveled a lot of miles already. Traveled a lot of miles on these. I should have done this a long time ago. Hurricane Harvey was sometime. I don't know. You can look in there and see that there's no grease at all in these bearings. So I'm going to have to grease these up. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, keep track of where these were. Okay, so that way. Alright. I'm gonna pull this out and greaseless bearings, yummy. Alright, I'm gonna put this back on the phone stand. Do some wiping down. And I will pack what I can in there. I'm not gonna be taking it all the way out or anything. I'm just gonna be packing it. Okay, so here we go. This is a 1993 Chevy Winnebago 454. I'm sure these bearings are thirsty. park that doesn't really allow this stuff so I'm not gonna be pulling out everything I'm just gonna do what I can right here and hope that this I mean it's been riding this long so I'm gonna hope that this can do it I'm 
just gotta push it in and let some of that other stuff push out, you know? So I got my gloves on today. The other day when I pulled off the other side, I didn't have gloves on. That was a big mistake. So today is a little different. I just let it ooze out the bottom a little bit. Pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it. Should have done the other side this good, but I wasn't really prepared for it to look like this or didn't know it was going to be this bad. So, that's what I got. You guys can see that. See all that mud and stuff dripping out of there? I'm not happy with how I'm having to do this, but. I'm on the road, so I gotta do it the way I gotta do it. This is high heat grease for bearings, any kind of bearings. That's universal, so doesn't really matter to me at this moment. I'm just trying to get this mud out of here so I don't have a bigger breakdown. Greasy, greasy, greasy. Alright, I think that's, just push my fingers in a little bit, try to work it in there, get all that old shit out. And I've never done this before, so kind of a experience as you can tell <laughs> not professional I'm just didn't even YouTube it because I don't know what to YouTube on it I don't know what to look up so I don't know if this is a rear differential thing or what but I, just, I know I gotta get this grease up in here so that's what I'm doing <laughs> see all that mud coming out all that fun stuff I'm gonna pause the video briefly so I can take a drink of beer and I'll shove the shaft in a couple of times doing it until that mud stops coming out. Once the mud stops coming out, then I feel like I'm done. Good job, dude! You hear my wife in there dropping stuff in the house. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, I, I really should have done the other side this good, though. I, I really just didn't. I did it yesterday and didn't think about it. I don't know.
push this thing in a time. container out the way so I can do something. Doesn't look like I might uh, be able to do it a couple of times. Alright, I'm gonna have to pause this for a minute. Cause I'm Oh come on Here we go, here's the fun part, because I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. Guess I'm gonna leave it recording. side went in so much easier. Patience is a virtue, right?
right, there we go. Whew. Stop freaking out, I guess, right? <laughs> Ooh, maybe a little nervous, though. I ain't even gonna lie. A little nervous. <sighs> Alright, so I got it in. Just took a little bit more finagling than I was expecting. Alright, so now I guess I'll put some more grease in it. The other one just went in so good. Didn't even have to do any of that. A little bit of pushing. I don't even know if I should be greasing the whole shaft or not, actually, you guys. This is real live right here. All right. Never mind, I got something. Dude, I'm over here. Shit it. I'm on this side, stupid. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this in, see if any water and stuff comes out. Which nothing's coming out, so that's a good thing on my end. So wipe this off a little bit. But I have made a mess. All right. There we go. That's that. Just gotta worry about all this, which I'm just gonna let sit there. Alright, grab another rag. Try to wipe off some of this excess that I got. Pull it back out. Wipe off some of that gunk I got on in there. And now I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit. Alright, let me use this, this other bolt. Clean out some stuff. Get some of this old gasket stuff off. Which it's still coming out. So. some of this excess grease off. Alright, now I'm going to stuff gasket maker for high heat gasket making which I would suppose is what's already on here so I'm gonna go ahead and put 
Got some beads. Sure, this is what it had on it already. So, so hard my head in the way. Put a little extra in the middle. Literally, I just put it all around because it's, it's going to spread as soon as I push this together anyway. So. A lot of this stuff doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, here we go. I'm going to put a little bit more. Some spots. Underneath, right here. Right there. I feel like that is good enough. So, I will clamp this down, put the bolts in it, and I'll be back in an hour to torque it down.